In this video, I'm going to explain how to use the cost estimator on the Game Crafter to find the cost of printing one copy of a game and the cost to print over 100 copies of a game. To find the cost estimator, we're going to go to the Make Games menu, then go to Pricing. On the Pricing page, you'll see several columns. The printed item is the component that you wish to have printed. The cost per sheet is the cost you'll be charged per sheet. The cost per item is the cost of the sheet divided by the maximum number of items per sheet. The items per sheet is the maximum number of items printed per sheet for that component. The best bulk cost per sheet is the lowest pricing available per sheet for orders of 100 or more game copies. This does not mean if you add 100 games worth of that item into a single game you will get that price. To get the best price per game, you will need to make a game that contains what you need for a single copy of your game, then order that game and adjust the quantity of that game in your cart. The image size is the exact size of the image in pixels you need to load to our site. You should follow the template the Game Crafter provides so you can see how to design each item. The finish size is the physical size of the item after it is printed and cut out. So, for example, one sheet of poker cards costs $1.66, and you get 18 poker cards from that sheet. If your game contained 25 poker cards, you'll be charged for two sheets because it goes into the next sheet of cards. While you are not required to use the entire sheet, the Game Crafter will use the whole sheet for your order. You will always pay for a full sheet of components because the Game Crafter cannot process part of a sheet. The Game Crafter doesn't send unused blanks from the sheet generally because people don't want blank components in their game, especially when selling them. Now that we know how to navigate this page and to see how many items we want to use and what kind of items are available, we can display the cost estimator to punch those items in. For this game, I'm going to make a 52 card deck. So I'm going to go to decks, then find the poker deck, and enter in 52. This is the number of cards that I need, not the number of sheets. You only want to enter the number of individual items you want. I'm also going to need a box for this game, so I will go to boxes and select an appropriate size box. I only need one box. When changing the quantity of a component or item, if that item only has a quantity of one, it means the Game Crafter will ship you one copy of the image slash component, chit, card, etc. and not a full sheet of that image or component. Any unused blank components from a sheet will not be sent. Larger items, such as folding game boards, are made in multiple sheets. A quad-fold game board has four sections, and one sheet covers two of these sections, so a quad-fold board will require two sheets. To see the cost of your game, you need to scroll to the bottom, and you can see the price of your game for a single copy, and the price of your game if you order 100 or more copies of your game in a single order. Please note, these costs do not include shipping. In order to calculate the cost of shipping, you'll need to create a game in our system and then add it to your cart. The cost estimator does not include the cost of coding, texture, or custom dice. If you have any unprinted parts in your game, you will need to add the cost of those items separately. And that's the way you use the cost estimator on the Game Crafter.